really really did me in oh it's so good okay so weird doing this while you're here so i'm like oh my gosh he's gonna <laughs> hear what i'm saying <laughs> all right well hello guys i don't think i've officially opened this vlog you've probably just seen some clips of me cleaning and stuff yesterday but hello welcome to the spring reset slash pack with me slash catch up and all the things um, we are about 10 minutes from going to our car to first go to Whole Foods to get some snacks, lunch, and what else are we getting at Whole Foods? Cake. Oh, a cake, yes. <laughs> this is why it's good that you're here. A um, little cake to celebrate me passing my comprehensive exam earlier this week, as you guys saw if you watched the study vlog, and just to celebrate the end of the semester because we are on our way to the Outer Banks, which is um, a popular beach area of North Carolina. I've never been before, Justin's been a couple times, but we're going to a place that's new for both of us along the Outer Banks, so super pumped for that. Just a quick little like getaway, Airbnb weekend. It'll be really relaxing, lots of sweet beach time. It's supposed to be kind of chilly, like 50s and 60s also. Justin's packing on the back, so you're not here some zippers and things. But yeah, just lots of sweet time at the beach, walking around, maybe laying on the beach if the sun comes out, Get some coffee and good food. There's a lighthouse in that area, so I really would love to go see that since I've never seen a lighthouse in real life before and I think that's it oh we might go see the wild horses I forgot that there's these feral horses that just live on the beach in certain areas of the Outer Banks my friend Jenna reminded me of that so we might try to go check that out but we honestly don't have any formal plans just lots of like relaxing spending time together reflecting all the things so that is our plan for this weekend and, we'll, and I will film an Outer Banks vlog so we'll take you along for some of that but right now I wanted to show you guys some newly dresses that I got for April slash like early May I'm wearing one of them right now I actually already bought it because the second I put on I was completely obsessed with it I feel like these types of kind of more feminine long I don't know kind of maternal homemaker like type dresses are becoming really popular and I love them it's very flattering it feels like it's modest but still really cute and girly which is just 
my sweet spot for style, so I love it. I forget the brand that it's from, I'll link it down below, but I got it from Newly, which is just a subscription like clothing rental service that I use once a month. It's about $100 a month, and you can rent some really nice pieces, and then if you wanna buy anything that you rented, they give you a big discount, so. I've only bought one other dress last year, because the whole point of this is to try not to buy new clothes, because you're just renting them, and so I try not to buy them more than like once or twice a year, which feels reasonable to me, so this is the first piece I've bought in about a year. And I got some other really cute dresses because we have our trip this weekend and then we're going to the mountains next weekend. And then after that, we're going to a city, I'm trying to like not spoil the places that we're going. If you know me in real life, you probably know where we're going, but lots of fun travel vlogs to come. But let me show you guys the other dresses real quick. So not all of these dresses are really best for these locations. Like next weekend, it's gonna be a little bit colder where we're going. And then the weekend after that, I might wear some of these because it's more of like a place where people dress up. But we might just wear them to church or other little outings here in Durham. But this is this really pretty purple and white one. I love it, although it's kind of hard to find a good bra to wear with this one. So it might be like a strapless bra, sticky boobs kind of situation just because it's that like square neckline. But this is super cute. I'm not going to have clips of me trying them on because we're, we're kind of rushing to get this video filmed and edited, to be honest. I'm literally going to be editing this in the car. So see you in a couple hours if you're watching this today. There's that dress, and then this one, and it looks kind of weird not on because it has these little slits on the side. Is this even the front? <laughs> I actually don't know. I think that's the front, but it has these little slits on the side, so kind of, you know, spicy a little bit. You can see some, some back and some side, but nothing crazy. It has this really pretty pattern. Honestly, this is probably a little more summery, like a good dress for June or July. I don't know if I'll really wear it. I put it on and I felt a little self-conscious in it just because it like hugs me in some places that not, are not my favorite, but we're working on the body image, y'all. So, might wear that one this weekend, but it might be a little too like revealing for the weather. I think it needs to be a little warmer before I wear that. So. We'll see if I wear it. And we've got this dress, which is actually one I rented for our honeymoon. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some pictures in this dress. And it looks kind of weird because you have to adjust the little triangles up front for it to kind of cover your chest. But it's this one, it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of almost an early 2000s dress or tank top because it has these little, I don't know, pom-poms, fluff things here. Y'all also probably saw this in my honeymoon pack and prep with me video. I realize that now, but you just adjust the front part up here. Honestly, y'all, I don't know clothing terms. I'm just kind of making stuff up, but pretty dresses, woohoo! <laughs> so that'll be really cute. I was hoping to wear all these this weekend, but like I said, it's not gonna be super warm. It's like 50s and 60s, so I think this might be the dress of the weekend since it's, you know, a little bit more coverage and goes down to my ankles. So that is what we've got. I also have two other tops I got in my newly order because we get to pick, because you get to pick six items when you order from them. And they're these two tops that are way too short. I'll show them to you in a second, but I don't think I'm gonna wear them, which is sad. So first is this one, which looks so cute online. And, but the thing is, I am just not a crop top girl. And I really thought this was gonna come down further because it's stretchy. And I tried putting it on with my little high-waisted skirt and it just showed too much of my belly to where it just looked weird like it didn't look like it fit me and then the same thing happened with this one <laughs> it just looks so tiny but i promise they like stretch and stuff but even when they're on me they are just not it so unfortunately that happens with newly sometimes where you do your best to figure out your size and then it comes in and you're like shoot this does not work but i still love them still would love to work with them one day when this channel grows more so excited about that maybe and we've also got a poppy drink because we have not done a poppy pause in a long time and last night we hung out with justin's grandmother hello grammy if you are watching this who watches my videos which is so sweet and she was like what are you gonna do with another poppy pause like have you had a poppy in a while and i just keep forgetting to bring them into the videos so we are drinking a poppy i still have one like pretty much every day this is the strawberry lemon flavor also would be a dream sponsorship would be poppy i was just telling justin that and like i literally love this brand so much and their drinks are so tasty, they make me feel good, I crave them all the time, they're just delicious. That's kind of it for this section of this video. I, Y'all know I'm not a huge fashion person, but I do really love finding cute dresses that just make me feel good. I, for most of this year, have just been wearing like scrubs or athletic clothes because my life has been clinical, and then when I'm home, I'm just like working from home, either studying or doing YouTube, or just like life admin type stuff. And I don't really have a reason to like look super cute. So this is me pretty dressed up, like hair, makeup, dress on, 
just not my normal, but hopefully now that I'm out of clinical and school and just like studying for boards and prepping for my job, job interviews, just like general life stuff, working on social media, YouTube things, I will just have more time to like look cute and come up with fun outfits. And so I'm excited to kind of find my personal style a little bit more, find cute outfits for all the trips we're going on and things like that. So hopefully we'll include this more in future little reset videos to come. But in terms of the rest of this video, you guys might've already seen like clips of me resetting. I don't know the order I'm gonna edit this. So you might've already seen that, or if not, you'll see it next. I'm just kind of like tidying up the apartment situated. I'm not doing a super formal reset where we're gonna go over like goals and all of that. Maybe for May, we'll do like a May reset where it's a full sit down video and talking through. But let me know if you prefer a vlog style versus sit down style for resets because I kind of, I, I just love vlogs so much. They are like easier for me to film personally and they're more fun to make. But I also know that a lot of you guys really like the sit down videos and those tend to be my videos that perform really well. So let me know what you think. But yeah, in terms of the rest of this video, we are about to go. Justin just got out of the shower. <laughs> I just heard him. So we're gonna go to Whole Foods and grab that stuff. And then I think I'll just do like a little catch up with you guys in the car, kind of reflect on the screen, talk about what's ahead for us and then answer some questions from Instagram. So I will see you guys there. Yo, yo, yo. My name is yo. Emily, and he's Justin. And this is, well, it's actually the end of the spring reset video. And then after I film this, yo, we're gonna start the Outer Banks video. Mm hmm. That rhyme. Cause it said video twice. No, so I thought you said rhymed it with yo. <laughs> so I just rap. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, anyways, hello people of the internet, really just family and friends, anyways, um, <laughs> just scarfed a sandwich down, so it might be a little burping, but spring reset, chatty ketchup, um, I got like maybe two or three questions on my little question box on Instagram, which is kind of sad, but whatever, um, what do we have to catch up about? There's a lot of things we can't tell the people right now. It's true. It's true. It's leaving the people in suspense. I am leaving the people in suspense because, mm -hmm. I guess, update. I finished my semester, Deep. which, woohoo. I officially, like, a couple hours ago because I turned in my last, like, compliance forms for clinical and stuff. So that's done. Passed my comps. I actually got the highest score on comps, which was kind of crazy, of my, like, eight person little cohort. But still, still, I thought it was kind of a cool little, you know, in the semester moment. Going to Outer Banks this weekend, and then I have like the next month or so, month or two to study for boards, so it's not my last test ever that I took this week. It's my last test for grad school, but I... Oh, 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 there is a bug. Bye, bug. <laughs> <laughs> Start one. Whenever I do this, I'm like, oh, I have to edit out so much stuff. I have to take my licensure exam, which is also my board exam, so they have to schedule that, like my school. They, well, my school doesn't schedule it. They have to get all of my transcript and my compliance stuff, clinical hours, like they compile all of that and they send it to, I guess, the organization that puts on the exam. I don't know. That still confuses me. They've gone over it so many times. But basically, I will be notified by my school when I can go and register. And so I just have to wait for them to like send everything over, which I heard that process can take a while. So I'm hoping to take it in May around graduation, which is May 17th. So that'll be super fun. But until then, we are just kind of studying and getting our life together, doing YouTube, things like that. And then Justin and I are traveling a ton. And one of those trips coming up, I won't say which one, is <laughs> for a job interview um, for my dream job. And we will see what happens there. We're praying about it, but really feel like God is leading us in a certain direction. But there, you know, there's a couple other leads, maybe, I won't say much, but um, we have a couple trips coming up, uh, visiting friends and running races and all the things. So, yeah, exciting. So I can't really tell much, but hopefully in a couple weeks I will know if we are staying, if we are moving, where I will be job-wise, and kind of what the plan is there. I keep looking at Justin like, am I okay to tell them this? Am I okay to tell them this? <laughs> but yeah, super exciting. Um, that's really it for an update. Like there's not a lot else going on. I mean, we have stuff in our like personal lives that we're working on, but not like, you know, life updates that we can share <laughs> to YouTube. Um, what would you say, babe? <laughs> As he's eating his sandwich, being real cute. Oh, please. <laughs> Is it, is it <laughs> uh, I zoomed in on you. Okay. And I was staring at it. Okay. Um, I would say that I love you. Aww. And that you were the best. 
and I'm excited for this weekend. Yeah. Um, life update. We had a Grammy in town yes, yesterday. Yes, I already told, I already said oh, hi to Grammy in the video. Never mind. <laughs> no, you can say hi again. Hi, Grammy. Hi, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> we just love you, so, you know, give me two shout outs. Yeah, that was really sweet last night. Yeah. What um, else has happened this spring? We've, we went to my cousin's wedding, which was mm -hmm. super fun, like, a month ago. Wow. Bringing Gretchen's wedding. Yeah, okay. that was a while ago. I went to a conference. Yeah. It's kind of been like the past month or so. We've just honestly been in the thick of like school and work. Yeah. Of like intense work stuff for you, intense school stuff for me, and now, I mean, you're still in intense work stuff, but <laughs> things are kind of <laughs> letting up at least for me. Um, and we're just kind of trying to figure out what our next plans are. Mm -hmm. With graduation boards, jobs, plural. Um, yeah, that's really it. I was like, oh, chatty ketchup, what are we gonna talk about? I guess the only other thing is we're both, I can also cut this out if you're not cool with it, navigating our relationship with like exercise and mm -hmm. running and trying to kind yeah. of figure that out. And for me, that's looked like, honestly, just getting sick so much the past couple months. I haven't been able to exercise a ton and I've also just had like some stuff be off with my hormones, my periods, I'm trying to figure out, which I've mentioned in the vlog a couple times. And so I'm just like really cutting back on exercise, trying to make sure I'm eating really well, eating enough, just with my history of an eating disorder. My periods, my body in general are just super sensitive. <laughs> just like this girl just walked by, I'm like <laughs> unfazed like let me vlog it's <laughs> fine she don't care <laughs> you're like <laughs> that's me when i'm alone in the car I'm like hiding <laughs> trying to vlog <laughs> um anyways yes just trying to figure that out like we both love running like we love exercise but it's so hard like having that balance between discipline and like consistency and you know having a schedule and having routines and stuff because that's what helps you stick with something long term but you're too regimented about it, it can be really easy to, to get obsessive and to make it, not only, not even to get obsessive, but just it kind of steals the joy out of it and like you don't feel as intuitive with exercise, like oh I have this plan I have to follow, but then I, if I don't want to follow the plan I feel guilty and like ashamed for not doing the plan, but I also like doesn't feel good when I'm making myself run and I don't want to, what if I want to do something else, but then I'm not preparing for this race or whatever, and so it just gets like It's all about, hard. that's my uh my therapist told me yeah when a stress reliever becomes a stressor yeah and that that switch yeah and then all of a sudden yeah. what is this thing popping up oh temperature it's it's mad at me but i totally agree that's like very good advice that's that's kind of our update yeah i want a puppy yeah me too yeah you want a baby <laughs> <laughs> kidding <laughs> i alternate <laughs> <laughs> i know we like go back and forth of like baby fever no baby fever yeah yeah, no baby is coming anytime soon, but um, what else? I guess only the questions on Instagram were fun fact about myself, which would be mm. fun. Maybe we could both do a fun fact mm -hmm. if you want. What's a fun fact about you? My eyes change color depending on my mood. That's it's your my... automatic. Say that again in case they didn't hear you. <clears throat> my eyes change color depending on my mood. And I know everyone's going to be like, no, it's based on what you're wearing because it's what everyone says. But no, my dad and I both have mood ring eyes. Mood ring eyes. Mm -hmm. You told me that really early on. And I told my friends and they were like, he's lying. That's fake news. And I was like, I don't, I think he's pretty trustworthy. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> fact is that I auditioned to be a Disney princess and I almost made it towards the end. Madeline, my friend from summer camp, um, will know if you're watching this, she'll, she'll know what I'm talking about because we went and auditioned together and she actually did the Disney college program for a semester which was super cool. I actually got rejected from the Disney college program. Yes, for me I was trying to like run away from my problems at college and I think God was like, no, we're not yeah. doing that. So Disney rejected me. That's my fun fact. But I, I also auditioned to be a princess, and that was really, really fun. Or to be a character. It was like a dance audition, acting and dance. So super fun. Um, and then another question was, I think, like, what is something that has been an unexpected joy and an unexpected joy lately? Mm. Which I think is really sweet. Hmm. And my unexpected is, uh oh. Oh, actually, expected joy, like, in ending the semester, definitely, <laughs> like, very expected. And then unexpected has been just, like, I was thinking about this last night because I saw the question, um, how much our relationship has been very, like, goofy and, like, kind of best friend-like. I mean, I feel like we're also very, like, romantic and passionate and stuff, and, like, obviously, yeah. we're married, they, like, are super attracted to each other and love each other romantically but i feel like our best friend the relationship has gotten so strong the past yeah. couple months and we are just so weird yeah. all the time like i think us dating we were like oh we're gonna be like spicy all the time we're weird we're <laughs> so goofy and like make up songs yeah. and like 
tickle each other, like, you know, just they're like really weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Weird in the best way. Weird in the best way. Um, so yeah, that's our update. We're just yeah. in a very much a transitional phase or like going from one transitional phase into marriage, like into a potential other. Yeah. With like jobs, potential move, yeah. figuring out life. This is like my chatty catch up with them, but I'm like, here, come on in. Chatty. Hmm. No, I feel like that's, I feel like it's the better. transitional season of life really sums it up. It's like mm. this whole year for us. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like marriage, potential move, job situation, like my transition to a new brand new provider like there's just all these overlapping yeah and like if we move it'll be a transition to new community new place like there's just yeah. a lot and like, a lot of travel this year like a ton and so yeah. we're just literally transitioning in and out of things the all whole the year yeah <laughs> yeah